Today we're gonna make some cabbage steaks. And this is supposed to be really calorie friendly. Um, so we're just going to uh, get this up. Very, it's a very fast set recipe. Just pretty much just put it in a pan and forget about it. So we're gonna take the first few leaves off of this cabbage and uh, make sure it's clean. And then we are going to cut it in one inch to one and a half inch steaks, okay? So, get you a good sharp knife. One of y'all told me if I put a wet paper towel underneath, why don't you get me one, babe? A wet paper towel underneath my cutting board, it won't move around on me. So, nothing edited. That was what that was the one that told me that. That's you. So this is a pretty thick steak. That's what we want, okay? We're gonna do probably this head of lettuce. I'll only do about three or four. Let's put it under here and let's see how how wonderful it works. You wanna cut this for me? Sure. I'd love to. Well, not cut it very, uh, yeah, it's not either. very uniform. It's not going to be very perfect, but that's okay. Here, you cut it. It's a, a woman doing a man's job. Yeah. Best chefs in the world are usually men, huh? Hey, that works great. The the cutting board. We have to do that more often. Why didn't I know that simple thing? That's perfect amount, four of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll just core that. Do you want this for anything? No, else? I don't want that. We'll just core this, core this out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to put olive oil and salt and pepper on each side, and then we're going to bake it. Just an alternative to your regular boil cabbage. We love cabbage, all of us. But we have, sometimes variety is key. Okay, so I'm going to put, we like this, uh, We I bought this on vacation, just several of them. Um, you can pr pretty much get it in every town, but it, this is the jalapeno olive oil. I'm just gonna put a little on the bottom here and then just kind of smear them around. Uh, I'm gonna put salt, pepper, and garlic powder on each one. Okay. And you cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Kind of however, if you like it a little crispy, let it cook a little longer. If you like it just done, just, uh, do it like that and we like pepper so i'm going to be generous on the pepper when i boil tony uh when i boil cabbage i usually put that tony saturates we love that in cabbage okay we'll turn that over so that'll get oil on that side i hope my pan is big enough maybe for this many we'll make it work Put a little oil on each top. Lift that one up and get it on the end, underside. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder on this side. We're having some fried crappie and some macaroni and cheese. Okay, so now we're gonna go put this in the four, uh, 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on what you prefer, what done you, you prefer. All right, uncovered. 
Okay, I got these out and I like mine a little bit crispy around the edges. Let me just get dish one of these out for you. I think you can see. Um, I did baste them. So if you wanna baste them, that would be good. I basted them with some more oil. And I cooked mine for about 35 minutes. Okay, now, there you go. Don't that look delicious? I wanna get a fork and a knife and try it. This is a real good um, thing to eat when you're on a diet. I like mine a little crispy around the edges, so let me move this over so you can see. Okay, I like mine a little crispy around the edges, so that's why I cooked mine for 35. And it started getting brown. And just a fork and a knife and we'll try it. And I did baste it, I told you that. And if you're not worried about calories, you probably could use some butter and that would be really good. It's still crispy, but not, not you know, it, it is good and cooked. Mmm, it's so good, I love it. If you wanted to cook it with a foil on top, it may be a little bit more soft. I like mine crispy. So, you know, I don't, I don't cook, I cook it without in a foil or a lid or whatever. Mmm, it needs a little bit more salt, but it's delicious. So this is mine for dinner. Okay. Easy peasy recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye.